Hello everyone, before I continue with the part 2 of the messing tutorials, I have to create a tutorial on this arch design of the Los Angeles International Airport, as somebody has asked me to create this tutorial. One tip I want to share is that keep the messing technique as the last option, as this arch design can easily be created as a model in place, so I won't go for the messing option. Before we continue with the video, I ask you to like and share my videos. Don't forget to give your feedback and also watch the other videos available on my channel. And also if you have any kind of difficulty or query related to Revit, you can ask me anytime. So now let's start. Open new architectural template file in Revit. Click on component then click on model in place. In this dialog box select structural framing and then click OK. In the level 1 floor plan place a reference plane like this and then assign a name to it. I am going to name it simply 1. Then go to south elevation. Then go to create tab and select extrusion. Set the reference plane to 1 which you have just drawn. And then with the help of this arc, place, place an arc here according to the design. So add details to this arc, arch design as shown in the video. Assign value to the extrusion end and then exit this extrusion mode. So a simple structure of the arch has been created. Now it, you can see that it has some defined edges. Uh, so and I don't want it to be like this and I want it to be chamfered. For that we are going to use the void sweep command. Select it from here. Then first of all click on uh, uh, sketch path then sign the reference plane to one draw path like this with the help of this selection button then draw the profile in the east elevation This uh, profile of the sweep would be according to the design. First, let's check it with this uh, arc. Uh, mirror this profile in the other side so that both of the edges are, both of these edges have the this sweep. So then click OK. And now you can see that how this arch has been given a smooth curve at its edges. So the design of the 
arch and design of its edges would be according to your design you can either chamfer it as well like this So now by repeating this exact process, I am going to add these chamfered edges on all of these defined edges, which are 90 degree edges of this arch, as you can see in this video. After applying white sweep to all of the edges, select the extrusion and assign material to it. You can apply any material from here. Then exit this model in place mode. Then uh, again 
go to architecture tab select model in place as we have to draw a kind of a floor within this arch place a reference plane in the level one or two floor plan assign a name to this reference plane again i'm going to name it one you can name it anything then go to south elevation select swept blend sketch parts uh, select the reference plane to one then draw the path like this okay the first click would be the uh, profile one and the second click would be the profile two so first of all i'm going to draw the profile one in the top view of the 3d from the center point of this arc draw a circle so that it meets this red point now draw the similar circle in the profile 2 after placing it on the on the circle which is above it give it an offset of 5 feet then delete this inner circle and click this button and then now you can see that the floor has been created within this arch assign material to this floor as well after that exit this uh, model mode then go to top view of 3d select this arch then click on this rotate command click check this copy button and then rotate it at 90 degrees and now you can see that without the messing technique how easily you have drawn this arch design which is quite similar to the los angeles international airport design so that's all for today i hope you like this tutorial if you have any kind of difficulty or query related to revit you can ask me anytime i will meet you guys in the next video till then goodbye and take care and most importantly don't forget to like share and subscribe